YouTube trends. The majority of YouTube trends thus far have resulted in a never-ending cyclone of recycled content and disappointment. However, when I saw that the latest trend is, I tried following a blank tutorial, I thought to myself, well, here's a chance to do something outside of my comfort zone and get views. The majority of these tutorial challenge videos involve people trying on makeup. However, in my Christian household, we not believe in makeup. The only faces we paint are illustrations, and the only tutorial we follow is the Holy Bible. However, today we will be following a tutorial from this person. I do not know how to pronounce his username, nor do I know how to pronounce his given name, so for the sake of this tutorial, we refer to him as Senpai. Senpai's artwork can only be described as museum quality anime. Even though anime is typically recognized by undetailed faces and simple shading, Senpai uses his extensive painting skills to create artwork that is both beautiful and emotionally engaging, focusing mostly on the female face. Just type Senpai's username and the word tutorial into the search bar. So let's watch the first result that comes up. You know what? I have no idea whether this music is copyrighted or not, so let's replace it with music from freemusicarchive.com. Okay, this can't be very hard to begin with. Sadly, I'm all too familiar with drawing anime style rough sketches. In fact, that's about all I would draw when I was 15 years old. It's been a while since I've drawn an anime style face, but the main thing in this case is to make sure the jawline is nice and round with a triangular structure but no straight lines. In this drawing, I want the shoulder to be visible, because the trademark of Senpai's style is that there is usually a lot of soft surfaces such as skin visible, and he tends to contrast these soft surfaces with harder materials such as metal or rough cloth. It gives the painting a lot of contrast and makes fun opportunities available for playing with light and color. I added elf ears because... fantasy painting. I didn't have much of an issue with this part, mostly because this is how I start most of my paintings anyway. I don't always use grayscale colors, but this isn't an issue as it is easy to make any sort of color adjustment in Adobe Photoshop or any drawing program for that matter. I've decided to start with a very dark color for the skin, as this is what Senpai does in his video. In addition to this, I will be giving the character very light white hair because fantasy painting. Even though the hair is lighter than the skin, I'm keeping the contrast low because this will make the painting subtler and allow me to use more specific colors. I mean, that's certainly one way of adjusting colors. I would usually use clipping masks or hue sliders, but this works quite well. This is where I get to add more subtle colors. As of now, the character's face is pretty monochromatic, so I'm going to add in a secondary bluish color, just like Zambai. I also add in some areas of more saturated skin, near the edges of the face and the shadow parts, such as the inside of the eyelids.
Wonder Senpai is so good at lighting. He's starting from very desaturated and dark colors and then taking advantage of layer modes to figure out how to build up those colors. Smart man. This is actually highly effective. I'm impressed by how accurately it simulates real light falling across the skin. In fact, it even creates subsurface scattering, which would be the extra saturated part near the edges of the light. It is pretty fun just throwing light everywhere, but Senpai said not to overuse it, so for this painting I will keep it minimal. Well, looks like it's time to draw the rest of the damn owl. Thanks for sticking with me thus far. I've sped this part up a lot because it took several hours and it's rather straightforward. This is the part in any tutorial where you have to stop relying on blending modes and fancy brushes and all those other newfangled computer tricks and instead focus primarily on painting. For this part, I decided to switch back to the default hard round brush with pressure opacity. It is possible to do this part with a soft brush, but for fundamental sake, it's a better idea not to paint everything with a soft brush. If your brush has some hard edges, that gives your painting a less muddy look. In fact, I'm willing to bet my cowboy hat that Senpai is using some sort of hard brush for this portion of the painting as well. All in all, I believe this part of the painting took me about 4 hours, and the difference it makes is subtle but necessary. Oh wow, so he just photoshops her face. Not gonna lie though, I actually do this in my own paintings. It's so much easier than using the transform tool, and it keeps the image together. Now, I'm not a big fan of blur, but in this context it fits well with the painting style. In fact, having elements in the foreground is something that I often skip without realizing in my paintings, and it definitely helps. In most portraits, the character is the middle ground, and the background is whatever is behind them, so having something in front of the character definitely adds depth and visual appeal. Well now we've gone and made it to the final stretch. At this point I'm fairly surprised with the similarities between my painting and his. Of course mine still looks like I painted it and not he, but the similarities in the lighting and painting style are definitely there. I believe most of this can be attributed to the colors and the unorthodox way of building up skin shading. And also anime. All in all, I would call this tutorial a success. I definitely learned a lot about blending modes and it forced me to experiment with shading methods as well as lighting and blending. Am I going to switch over to this style? Probably not, but it is always a beautiful thing to be able to add new painting methods to your repertoire. Anyway, leave a like, tell me what you think, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and a big thank you to my 36 subscribers. Okay, bye.